Good evening, my fellow Singaporeans and voters of West Coast GRC. Sorry, I think I've ruined my voice from last night. A very warm welcome to all of you. It's great to be back here in West Coast, even though it's disappointing that shameless gerrymandering has removed Clementi from our midst. Last election, I was very new on the political scene. But then, voting was very new to you too. Many of you had never voted in your lives before the Reform Party came to West Coast and allowed you to exercise that precious democratic right. On walkabouts, we met an old woman who said that her only wish, her only wish was to be able to vote before she died. They say a week is a long time in politics and the last four years have been like several lifetimes worth of experience for me. So now for GE 2015, we have become veterans together. I know most of you didn't really know who I was in GE 2011, except for my family name. You had no reason then to believe me when I said I was here for the long haul. I hope you know who I am now and that you can trust what I say. At least, I hope you know my voice on national issues. I took the government to court over the IMF loan, $5 billion, to Greece when the PAP says, Singaporeans, we can't afford to pay our old people $500 a month so that they can live with some dignity. When they spend only $4 billion a year on public health care, but what did the government do? It got the courts to rule that as a private citizen, I had no right to bring an action. The only way we are going to get accountability is by sending us to parliament. I have written letters to the finance minister to the president asking for explanation for discrepancies in the budget and in some of the funds that are under the prime minister. Have I received any answer? No. So you see, the only way we'll get answers is if we are in parliament, where it will be on the parliamentary record. But the government, the PAP, will try and confuse you. They will say, this election is about town councils and local issues. Amenities and upgrades. They will tell you that only the PAP can deliver the goods in your states and in your larger constituency. This is untrue. If they can do it, we can do it. But we will be better at it. Yeah. 
this election, where finally everyone gets a chance to vote, is actually about national issues. It's a national referendum on PAP policies or the failure of those policies to deliver you the life that you deserve. So you know who I am, or at least you know my public profile and the causes I have championed. But now I think it is time that I tell you a little bit about me as an individual. I have to say, I find it very hard to talk about myself. Actually, I'm quite a shy person and a very private individual. But I think the time has come that if you are going to vote for me and to trust me, then you deserve to know who I am. So being a politician on stage doesn't come naturally to me. I don't know why, but somehow I find it easier to fight for others than to stand up for myself. I apologize in advance if this is going to sound a bit self-indulgent. I was born in 1959. I didn't have an, ord an ordinary childhood. I came from a privileged background. Both my parents were lawyers. I remember the riots in the 60s, but actually I was pleased because my dad came home early as there was a curfew. When I was a boy, Sentosa Island was still called Pulau Blakang Mati. I remember large water pipes near our house that we used to climb and walk on. I used to cycle everywhere around the neighborhood. There wasn't much traffic. I went to St. Andrew's School and must have been a very naughty boy because I was threatened with the cane three times. We boys used to wear two pairs of underpants, just in case. In fact, I'll tell you something funny. When our election agent made a tiny mistake on the nomination forms, apparently SDP made the same mistake, I felt I was back at school. Minister Iswaran had me called over and then lectured me on potentially a very serious error that could disqualify us. I did feel like a very small boy then. The happiest memories are from my childhood when a big birthday party was held at our place and some swings and slides were delivered and I persuaded my dad to let them stay for a week. By the time I was ready to do NS, my life was quite a lot darker. It was already being made clear that my father's political stand would not leave me untouched. On my first day in national service, I was put into Mindeth but as soon as someone spotted me, I was transferred out the next day. It was during this period, my mother became very ill with cancer and I can remember the kindness of my OC who transferred me to a desk job where I could go home every day. Then just like Lee Sian Lung and other PAP ministers, I went to Cambridge University. However, unlike those PAP ministers, I was not on a government scholarship, but what we know as an FMS, a father-mother scholarship. 
though for me, by that time, it was just a farmer farmer scholarship. When I came back from my degree, the reality of a political situation hit hard, and no one would hire me, even though my qualifications were on a par with Lee Sian Lung's. In the end, I had to go overseas, even though I didn't want to, as my father had already been jailed and lost his seat in Parliament. Working overseas was mostly a horrible experience for me. I was very lonely and had no support network. London in the 1980s was a very racist place. If you take a close look at my face, you will see a big scar. And that's because I was mugged at knife point. They wanted my watch that my dad had given me. And when I refused to hand it over, they slashed my face. So I was working in a Japanese bank in London when I met someone who looked past my shyness and saw me for who I was. She has been my lovely wife for the past 20 years. We only had one very precious child who is all, all grown up now. And if there's one word I would use to describe myself, it is family man. My wife was very ill in pregnancy. Our child had to be delivered very prematurely. But these are the life experiences which have made me who I am and given me the ability to empathize with the lives of the residents. In fact, when I took Roy to London and he stayed with us, he saw me with my family and he was astounded and saw a, third, a totally different side to me. I think you know the rest. I decided it was more important to be here than to be in work. My wife and I set my dad up in an apartment with a carer so he could live in some dignity. We paid off his bankruptcy. Then the old man, instead of taking it easy, and despite many offers from the PAP to rehabilitate him, started up a new political party instead. When he died so suddenly, I felt I couldn't leave his work unfinished. I joined the Reform Party and I started to dedicate myself to full-time politics. Then a strange thing happened. I found that when I went on outreach, I had skills I hadn't realized I had and that I could help people. At one point, when I am very busy on grassroots, people wait for me at coffee shops with paperwork under their arms because I don't have a surgery that they can come to. The strangest thing about this and the changes in my life is that helping others has helped me. It has given a new purpose to my life. I feel that this is what I was meant to do and for that I am extremely grateful to the residents of West Coast and Radin Mass. So, if you vote me into Parliament, I will be running a very tight ship on town council management. We will be ruthless in keeping the costs under control. I will be your champion on national issues in Parliament. And I will be a caring and compassionate MP on the ground. It really is time for change, but I can't be that change on the outside looking in. If I am to be effective, 
You need to put me into Parliament. <laughs> Go Chok Tong says the PAP can be their own check and balance. That is nonsense. Every financial fraudster since the dawn of history has said the same thing. This government has ill-served you, but we will serve you better. This government doesn't care about Singaporeans, but we will care. The PAP have sidelined you but we will put you center stage. I hope you will honor me with your trust and that on polling day, you will remember the scorching yellow sun. Think of a local kid playing on the pipes under the scorching yellow sun and vote for the reform party. Vote for a brighter future tomorrow, today. Vote for my West Coast team. Vote for my Ang Mo Kyo team. Vote for my Radin Mass candidate. Vote for the Reform Party.